Hello and welcome back to Neighborhood Eco Theology. I am Brian, your friendly neighborhood eco theologian, and today we are getting ready to go to Durant Nature Park for a bit of a of an insect safari, a, a bug hunt, uh, a creepy crawly search. So let's go check out and see what kind of insects and arachnids and all kinds of other fun invertebrates we can find, you know, in our in our neighborhood. Let's do it. Dragonfly is amazing. I mean, they are, <laughs> they're, they're just, they're so cool. They're, they're absolutely hands down my favorite kind of insect. Anyway, uh, back to the video.
So we were looking at the Shining Sumac flowers before. Here's another bunch, but look who's in here hunting the pollen. Oh, did he get them? That was cool. Where'd he go? Oh, there he goes. We were talking about the gnolls being insect hunters, and here he is taking advantage of the sumac okay. to hunt the little pollinators that were coming. So we were looking at these little, little pollinators and other things that are landing on the sumac floors. Ben, you're shaking. I'm trying to film. Ants, flies, and tiny little solitary bees, all kinds of things. You can see why they make good hunting grounds for little baby anoles. And a paper wasp. Right next to each other? Yeah, how convenient is that? Well, not only are we finding insects at insect homes and other types of arthropods, but this right here is a crane fly orchid, so named after the the large fly that has the long spindly legs. The flowers, whoever named it, must have thought that the flowers with their long appendages must have looked like a crane fly. But yeah, this is a little native orchid. Pretty cool. Flip this little log over right here. And underneath we've got quite a large leopard slug up in there. Yeah. And we've also got right there, but we're not gonna mess with them. We've got a little bit of funguses growing on the edge of that leaf, and where did he go? We had some termites up under here. Let's see if they're in the wood itself. No, but there is this little millipede. And that's cool. Millipede? Wow. It must be under here feeding on some of this fungus. Where is the millipede? It's a, I think it's a juvenile flatback. Like aphalora this maybe. This one? This one? Whoa. Was there another one? There was one that just called on Okay, but this one right here. This is the one I was talking about. Oh. There's another one there. We're not going to dig it out, so we don't want to disturb it, but yeah. sometimes that is a centipede. centipedes will lay eggs and then they will sit and guard them. That is a I'm wondering Where? if that's what that is right there, this red, reddish brown thing curled up in the log. Okay, we're going to flip it back over. Oh, yeah, we'll get a little mycelium, no, which, which is, is fungus. Right there. Oh, and there's another little, oh, there's an ice pod. Another little an ice pod? millipede. Is right there. See it? The wood louse or roly poly. Oh, yeah. And then there's another little bitty bitty millipede. Oh, yeah. Perhaps a. Oh, yeah, there's that, yeah, there's that one that you were looking at that ran up inside. It's feeding on that fungus. See the mycelia all growing right there? No, we're not going to touch it. Dad, Dad, look. Cool. This is one of those Aphaloria flatback millipedes, sometimes called cherry millipedes, because they exhale a cyanide cherry compound smell. that smells a little bit like cherries, a little bit like almond. So, 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 so they still call it a cherry almond. Yeah, they are safe to pick up and handle. You want to wash your hands afterwards, but don't put it in your mouth. So this is what the adult form of those little brown guys looks like. Yeah. And they can get much bigger. Eh, not much bigger. That's one, that, this one's pretty big. They can get big. But you don't have to worry about them because all they do is eat mm -hmm. funguses and rotten leaves and other sort of plant matter. Very cool critters. Mm -hmm. 
like Another log, and we do have termites. termites down here. There's those grub. white Daddy. ant looking things, and we have a beetle grub there. But there's an ant and a termite, look like they're scuffling. Where? Right there. I can't. Yeah. So the termites have Found. their nest right in this log here. Grubs, three oh. grubs. Looks like we've also got a. I wonder if that's a planaria all curled up there. What's a planaria? A type of slug? Uh, a type of flatworm. Can I touch it? Mm -mm. Is it right here? Oh, yes, there's another one there. Where's the planaria over here? Oh, there it is. Where did the one that was over here go? Did it disappear? It looks like it bowed. Wow, that was fast. Oh, look! It's very A. Mm. Oh, planaria! Yeah, there's a guy walking my. Where's the pine in here? Wild. Where? Right. Okay, don't touch it. Oh. Bam. I didn't touch it. Right. It's moving. Yeah, you can see how big, how big it is compared to those little grains of sand. Well, thank you for joining us on our favorite hike here in Durant Nature Park and on our little creepy, cool insect, other kind of invertebrate safari adventure. I found a porcupine head. All these cool things can be found in a park or right in your backyard. So get out there and see what kind of creepy cool things you can find in your backyard. Thanks again. See you next time.